coverage you can count on. KOMU 8 News starts now. And the home of the brave. Is what thousands came to honor today at the Salute to Veterans Air Show. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Wilkerson. And I'm Brittany Mobley. Cooper County is celebrating the opening of a new fire station today. The new station is right across from Bunston High School. People gathered to celebrate both the station's opening and the town's 150th birthday. One Bunston local says the station could open new doors to new opportunities. We now are starting to get interest from local kids and young adults that are interested in possibly becoming firefighters. GEM is working on introducing a program at the high school to allow students to, in class to respond to calls. Missouri lawmakers passed several items on Governor Eric Greitens' list of priorities this year. Lawmakers passed legislation on the state personnel law and child foster care, and both pri were priorities of Governor Greitens. At the start of the session, the governor called for, quote, the boldest tax or state tax reform in America. However, lawmakers passed bills to overhaul the state tax code before adjourning for the regular session. Greitens spokesperson Parker Bryden called it a very successful year. Astronaut Alan Bean, the fourth human to walk on the moon, has died. Bean died at Houston Methodist Hospital earlier uh, today after falling ill. He was a Navy test pilot in 1963 when NASA picked him to be an astronaut. Bean flew into space two times. The first was on Apollo 12 in 1969, which was the second moon landing mission. The second was in 1973 as commander of the United States' first space station. He was 86 years old. Today, the Ireland Prime Minister reacted to the results of a referendum where voters supported repealing the constitutional ban on abortions. Election officials say more than one million voters favored repealing the ban. The outcome was a historic victory for women's rights in a traditionally Catholic country. This will make it much easier for Irish women to obtain abortions legally for the first time. For me, it's also a day when we say no more. No more to doctors telling their patients that there's nothing can be done for them in their own country. No more lo lonely journeys across the Irish Sea. No more stigma as the veil of secrecy is lifted. And no more isolation as the burden of shame is gone. The Prime Minister says his government will move quickly to establish new legislation to govern legal abortions. Today marks the unofficial start of summer at the Lake of the Ozarks. While many people are heading to the lake might be looking forward to their time off, local businesses are preparing to work even more. Some business owners say they've been preparing for this day since February or March, including keeping in good contact with vendors, making sure there's enough staff, and upgrading equipment. Starting today, most business owners say they only have 100 days to make money for the entire year. It is only 100 days, uh, but the 100 days doesn't end there. It continues on. If you look at a lot of the restaurants, they continue on to do uh, uh, maintenance. Uh, you're preparing for next year, menu plans, um, next year's events because you got to book uh, bands and DJs and what have you. Uh, so it's a continuing on process to keep it going. Judge also says despite the challenges that come with running a business at the lake, each season makes all the effort worth it. If you saw a lot of bicyclists in Columbia today, you may have run into the 10th annual Peddler's Jamboree. Cyclists rode from Columbia to Boonville, a 30 mile trip. There were stops for food, water, and entertainment along the way. When participants finally got to the finish line, they could celebrate with food from vendors and a live concert at Kemper Park in Boonville. One cyclist said the event volunteers were encouraging and helped her finish strong. A really nice guy um, saw we were kind of struggling up a big hill, and he was like, you can do it, you can do it, you're almost there. Participants were encouraged to bring their tents and camp out overnight in Kemper Park. There's currently no set date for next year's Peddler's Jamboree. 